Corporation. I'm being joined on the program tonight by Senator Ali Ndume, Chairman of Senate Committee on the Army, a Chieftain of the APC. Thank you so much, Senator, for coming tonight. And also we have Senator Mao Oabua, a former lawmaker and a PDP Chieftain. Thank you so much, uh, Senator. It's good to see you again. Let's begin the conversation, perhaps with Senator Ali Ndume. Um, let me get your view on the stance of... Um, the southern governors, especially on the issue of uh, open grazing and uh, taking cattle by foot across the region. What are your views on the recommendations and the stance of the southern governors? Well, my view uh, is already expressed that um, the governors, being the chief security officers of the various states in the south, should not take these things lightly or should not politicize it or even try to sh look as if they are just grandstanding. Uh, the president, uh, they have un unfiltered access to Mr. President, who is the commander-in-chief, and they themselves being the various chief, uh, chief security officers of their states, they have what they call the national uh, economic, uh, n n as, is it national state council or state council or uh, like that, that all the governors meet with Mr. President or sometimes with the vice president. We have serious security challenges in this country that are different in all the geopolitical zones, if you look at it. And I was expecting that the governors who close themselves in what, where they did and then address these issues, come up with the three solutions that they, 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 they mentioned, and then come and discuss with the president in a close session, as we call it in the Senate, not to come out and then talk to the media and then issue a blanket statement, for example. I'm not concerned about what they said, but like the open grazing system, which they say they will ban it in all the south and that people cannot move, not addressing how they will uh, uh, accommodate or look at the constitutional issues that will come as to freedom of movement, which every individual is concerned with, and how practical is that uh, decision to be uh, implement. I was thinking that they will come out with the immediate uh, solution, mid-term solution, and the long-term solution to open a uh, grazing system. Definitely, the open gra grazing system is a problem, or with time now, the, 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 the time has changed that we need to change the grazing or the livestock management uh, system of the Fulanis or the headsmen. But not by saying, one, uh, we, uh, we, 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 we bar uh, 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 open grazing in the south. Two, we call on the president to convene a convene national dialogue. Three, uh, to you know, allow uh, for state police. All these things are things that you know are not going to be implemented by making statements to the media or over. That is what that is that is my concern. When leadership is playing to the gallery in a very challenging situation like this, I get so concerned. And this is what is it? Is it a uh, okay? Okay. So let, let, let's get uh, some clarity from you. Is it a matter of playing to the gallery? This our 17 state governors in the southern region, just like their colleagues, our counterparts in the north. The northern governors also meet. These southern governors have met, and they said this is what they see as a problem. You were reported, Senator, to have said that the governors are deviating from the matter. You said the problem is not about open grazing. So. But, but the governors unanimously said that is a problem in their region and they came out to state what needs to be done. Do you have perhaps some other information or intelligence to counter the stance of the southern governors? First of all, the security, it is not a matter of, I still stand by my position that the problem is not open grazing. The problem is what we are faced with in this country is the issue of security. There is insecurity everywhere. And the insecurity, the security challenges we face in this country are not uniform. What we face in the Northeast is different from what they face in the Southeast. There is no Boko Haram in the Southeast. And Boko Haram are killing us every time in the Northeast. In the Southeast, they have challenges with the IPOP and the you know, EESM. In the Southwest, they have different challenges. In the north central, they have different challenges. In the in the in the northwest, where banditry is, you know, they have problem of banditry, cattle rustling. In the in the northwest, 
it's not the same with uh, what we are facing but we know that we have serious challenges besides uh, arm robbery everywhere which is known to us and then kidnapping which is everywhere we know that we have serious sec uh, security challenges in this country that needs to be addressed urgently otherwise the situation is getting worse and worse in the southeast police stations are being attacked indiscriminately and people you know the uh, uh, cattle wrestlers are attacking um, uh, 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 but, 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 are, Senator, are, the governors of the southern region said this is the problem and they are suggesting solution but it does look like you have a problem with what they have proposed as a solution or the way out no i ha i don't have problem problem with the solution that they propose but that is not it what i'm saying is they should be practical realistic and honest and that is lacking in that statement that they just made this blanket statement um, not meeting the president you just don't say you ban movement of this it's not just realistic let's talk realistically what right. are they doing as the security officer of each each, each of their state what right. have they what do they do with the president what uh, what what realistic measures they started for example in the southwest which was good and i supported that they should have a local uh, uh, local security network uh, called a motokun or what do you call it so such such organizations will complement the police that we have and they are supposed to synergize and work together while the motokun is under the control of the various governors from the southwest and they uniformly started it they abandoned that project now and they are talking about another thing so senator let me get uh, senator ahabwa into the conversation senator ahabwa if you can give us a sense of what you make of the southern governors uh stands and uh, you heard your friend senator alin dume and his uh, uh, view uh relating to what the southern governors have said well first and foremost let me thank you for this opportunity and to use this same opportunity to congratulate our muslim brothers on this occasion of eat fat victory and uh, thank god for guiding them through the uh, fasting period and as if we know this period needs prayers more than any other time. And um, I also want to use the opportunity to congratulate the Southern governors for rising to the occasion, for realizing that it is important that they speak and defend their mandate. Because leadership is a trust. This, and this trust is upon them by their people. At a point, we were worried if there were, we had governors because our brothers, the northern governors, were always meeting, uh, dishing out communiques, but we are not hearing from our southern governors. And this time, they've written, risen to, to the occasion, irrespective of political affiliation, and hitting the nail on the head. And I think all we needed to do, all of us today, is to congratulate them and thank them for rising up to the occasion to defend their position as leaders. You see, um, the issue of insecurity in this country is, is not something anybody needs to play with. We know the level of insecurity in this country has become so alarming, it becomes so worrisome that we cannot even sleep, not with our two eyes, even with one eye closed. And it's important that we look at these peculiarities from our different states and our different zones. Like my friend and my brother Ali has said, Northeast had the problem of uh, Boko Haram or the North per se. But here in the South, we don't have that problem of uh, 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 Boko Haram. The major problem that had been there all the time had been this uh, Hess um, um, men and um, farmers clash. It's been there for a while. And we've been looking at which way forward. And this is the right time and the right way to go. So I'm saying that the governors have come out as the representative of the people, knowing that some other people had infiltrated the local indigenous cattle rearers, the local herdsmen. We have seen people infiltrate before now. We've lived with these people for many years. I lived most of my life in Yola. We've never seen the herdsmen carrying AK-47, but today people are carrying AK-47, raping women, destroying farmlands, and creating problems. Some are now into banditry, some are now into kidnapping, and we can't continue this way. The governors cannot fold their hands and keep quiet. It's a big challenge, it's an issue. And I think we should commend them for rising up to the occasion to take this resolution. First and foremost, what I think, maybe if that's what 
at least are alluding to, maybe they should walk their talk, that now they have come up with a policy, then they should come up with a legal framework, send right. a resolution, uh, send a bill to the state assemblies to ensure that what they have said stands. They are not disturbing people, they are not saying there should be no movement of people as enshrined the constitution, but this uh, open grazing should stop. And even if you Senator Abu, apologies to uh, apologies yes. to cut in. Yeah, let, let's take a break. But when we come back, I'm going to come back to you and specifically uh, some of the issues Senator Ali Ndume has raised. Perhaps you might help.